Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Sly Slime. We're back here in this world where we forever, ever, and ever have been fighting to get our power up. We have this generator, and last time we experimented with switching out the seeds. We switched from uh, wheat seeds to pumpkin seeds to hemp seeds, and that one seems to have worked better, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We again had to disconnect all our machines to get our power generation started back up, and so I've just put all of it back together, and uh, well, it seems to be running. So let's keep going, let's find out if that was good enough. The power cables are now kind of down to 9, 8. Uh, this looks like it's running and it's not making any sound. This is squeezing stuff, it's being used up all the time though, so I guess that it is running. The thing that I am... Yeah, now we're... we're high on plant oil and low on potato, the other oil, whatever. Ethanol, yes. Uh, so we need, maybe we should do th three and three, I guess. We'll take this, uh, take that away, put that in. Oop, this is, this is a pretty annoying, pretty annoying system to work with now. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's connect those up instead. Uh, that that seems to make more sense to me, like logically, that you you use like half and half, but yeah, like so. More potatoes. All right. So hopefully that leads to us having a balanced income of ethanol and plant oil, maybe. Anyway, we we'll, we'll just need more of both. So I think what we need to do is make like six more clocks. Just mirror this entire thing on the other side here and... Yeah. Well, I'm making these clocks. It's, uh, we're even more out of ethanol now, so... We're back to being completely out of power. Power lines are down to 60 RF or whatever, so... We definitely need more clocks. Okay, well, a bit of a recap. I have been running back and forth trying to make all of these uh, clocks. Somewhat annoying, I had to make this chest because all of these watering cans don't stack. I'm putting stuff here for them. Uh, I'm now working on these. Well, the glass is pretty much free, but uh, advanced machine frames require these. I've made these. They've been pressing down below. We need carbon plates. Uh, that's quite a deal, actually. Each carbon plate... Uh, here we go. Each carbon plate is a carbon mesh in the compressor. Each carbon mesh is two of these carbon fiber. And each carbon fiber is four of these, so it's eight of these pulverized coal per each. And each pulverized coal, of course, is a coal pulverized. So, we needed... Uh, we needed six... 12 of these carbon plates times 2, 12 of these carbon plates times 2 of these fibers, so we need 24 of these carbon fiber times 4, so we need 96 of these. So I've been trying to grind up a stack of coal here, we're gonna need a stack and a half I guess, uh, yeah, but it's taking forever. So again I've gone and disconnected everything else all the heavy machines, and we're kind of... I guess we're at a standstill down here again. We're getting plant oil by the buckets now, but not ethanol. So yeah, it's, it's a constant struggle, this thing. <laughs> uh, it seems like anytime I sort of run out of power, it's, it's just it's really hard to get going with it again. I don't know, it feels, it feels weird. One thing I could do is either I could put batteries on these, would alleviate it a little bit, not much I guess, or I could take two of the outputs and just route them directly to the fermenter and the squeezer individually. But yeah, it still feels like the two-thirds of the power of the generator is just going towards powering the generator, <laughs> which is, duh, doesn't seem right to me. Anyway, yeah. So this is, this is 100 RF going in there, but the, in here, I wonder if it's because all of these, like, clocks are on the same line over here? That's 100 RF going in here too, so I don't know. 
Oh well. Okay, so I did it again, disconnected this thing, drained my entire battery to make... What the heck was that? Okay, never mind. Drained my battery to make some more uh, of the ethanol, now we have two buckets of diesel. I started up, I put my battery onto here, hoping it'll charge up a bunch. That's... going. Going, not going, still going. Still going. How's the refinery doing? Okay, that's... So this is doing stuff now. Yeah, okay. So, it's kind of looking like we're going again, I guess. Yeah, this is this is getting charged. That's good. All right, so let's take that away. Let's connect back up the other things, oh, which still most of the other things are disconnected still. But all I want is to be able to grind up those things quickly. <laughs> That's really it. Um, let's jump. There we go. Jump back up. Preferably not hitting our head on anything. See how this is going now. So this is connected. Oh yeah, that's good. This is going. So we'll throw the rest in there. Uh, take these out to get. Um, but these three are, or four are disconnected because I don't want the electrolyzer to take all of the juice. So we'll put the battery back, I guess. And this thing should have power the power it needs again. And now we just need to start making those meshes. Why did that not stack? Okay. Sure. So that's half of it. If I counted it right. I guess we'll put these in here. Uh, steel should be doing well down there. Okay, so now we make those. Uh, oop, oop. Carbon meshes, these go in the compressor. Right. Uh huh. Which is not gonna get power, so. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll move this one over. Because the compressor needs power. It feels so janky. <laughs> okay, so that's six of them. We're gonna need a lot still. Oh, oh boy. This is taking a long time. I've done a lot of work off camera here. Um, blocks of refined iron have noisied up. And the last mesh is in the compressor. I've kind of lost track, but I think that's all. Uh, no, we need to squeeze, we need to press these, and then we need to pick up a bunch of glass. So, this is the metal press with the right thing in it. We need to throw these in here. I should have double checked that, but... Mm, yeah, these are basic machine frames. <sighs> so, basic machine frames and these and these... ...will make the advanced machine frames. We're gonna need to make a ton more of these later, but... For now, these are going to save our power production. Okay. So we'll grab those, we'll go upstairs, and we'll make the things, and then we'll need to find if we have enough glass. <laughs> so, six of these. <sighs> so nice. Uh, clocks. Yeah, so we need a bunch of steel mechanical components. I've had a bunch of steel cooking down there. I don't know if it's enough. It should be enough, I think. Uh, I also don't know if it's done. It's not. I guess we'll grab those that are done. See how much glass we have, because that might be running low too. Uh, 11. Ooh. I think we might be out of sand too. Last episode I went and just dug up a bunch of sand when we needed it. Yeah, sandstone. Sandstone and more sandstone. So I guess uh, I'm gonna sleep here. Yeah, you, you heard it. It's shut off. Like, this... This really is not working all that well. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so the hemp seeds really did the trick here. Maybe you switch one more over to potatoes then. Okay, even more potatoes are coming along. And hopefully that will make a difference. Or maybe I don't need this many more clocks, but whatever. In this case, we'll use them for something else, I suppose. Whew. Maybe I actually shouldn't make all of them. Maybe I'll just make a couple. And uh, not used up all the material, because these are pretty expensive. And I know we'll need these like advanced machine frames and stuff for other stuff down the line, so maybe... We'll just make two more. Which is, uh, funnily enough, well, exactly what we have the glass for right now, so... Two more garden clocks. Whew. Brrt, brrt. Alright, we're gonna go up here. I guess we might as well put them to this side. Alright, these are gonna need fertilizer, but uh, we can at least do this for now. So that they actually empty. And go in here. That potato is just instantly disappearing. Huh? Look at that. Are we actually keeping up now? That's a lot of rooming, which is good. Uh, 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 we're just on the verge, I think probably not, because all of the built up ones from there probably didn't make it, so we probably need like two more clocks or something. <laughs> okay, now we're back to having more ethanol and this being full of potatoes and this being empty. So, uh, I guess, which one is the last one? I guess this one is the last one. We'll take that. Uh, we'll steal the seed as soon as it pops into here. Maybe. If it ever does. Hello? Oh, why are these not... Is this full? That's full. Is this... Oh. Do these not grow if it's full? We really need an upgrade. Wow. Void upgrade template. Kinda sucks, but... I'd rather have the rest of it work. So. This... Okay, why can't I access it? Guess we'll just do this then. This will now accept and void these. Which empties these out. This is just now, like, full. Um, which means, okay, we have a bunch of seeds there now. Is this running? It's not running. How does this look? Uh, now we're the other way again. Uh, no? We're, we're out of seed, seed oil. Uh, so we're, we're waiting on this, essentially. It's not getting enough power to... Yeah, okay. I feel like I really need to make batteries for those. Okay, well, we're back up to two buckets of diesel. I'm gonna do this thing again. Uh, will it keep? It's out. But it is going. And this is now squeezing up a whole bunch of stuff. That battery's dead. Ethanol's dropping, is it? Like, this is full. This is completely full. All of these are jammed up. So, this should be able to make ethanol really quickly. This is not full, though. It does look like it's going, though. Now the noise is constant, too, so that's cool, I suppose. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's a way to... S if we need more than one fermenter and more than one squeezer to, to always supply this with enough. But it, yeah, it's still going, okay. <laughs> it's just the, the noise, that's so weird. Okay, well, that's good. Now we need to go put this back. A whole bunch of these things are still disconnected. 
So, yeah, I've, I've gained power, but at the cost of not being able to use it, which somehow strikes me as less than ideal. Hmm. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been doing this for far too long now, and uh, yes, it is kind of sort of working now, but we need more we need more clocks for hemp, I think. I'm not entirely sure. That's how it looks to me right now, but uh, yeah, we're not going to make those right now. I'm kind of out of everything, including ducts and power lines and everything, so we're going to leave it off here. I might do a bit more of this off camera before the next episode, and then it's really time to switch all the things back on and get back into questing because this has sidetracked us for what, like 10 episodes now, and I'm kind of had it with it. If the diesel generator doesn't work, we'll have to figure something else out, but yeah. <laughs> That's enough of the diesel. Uh, thank you very much, though, for joining me for Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Slice Lime, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.